Imagine biting into your favorite snack, only to learn it's been genetically tweaked. Crazy, right? GMOs, genetically modified foods, are in over 70% of processed foods in the U.S. Scientists tweak their DNA to make them better, like crops that survive droughts or fight off pests. Take cucumbers. They used to be generally smaller, more bitter, and more prone to diseases than the modern varieties we typically see. According to the Los Angeles Times, early cucumbers were small and tasty, but susceptible to disease. While the University of Missouri's Integrated Pest Management notes that they were also bitter due to the presence of cucurbitaceans. Cucurbit breeding states, domestication of cucumber led to significant changes from its small-fruited, black-spined CD progenitor. Now, thanks to GM Tech, they're bigger, crunchier, and last longer. Pretty cool, huh? Here's the deal. GMOs have upsides and downsides. They can grow more food with less land, huge for feeding the world. But some worry about health risks or messing with nature. Plus, big companies own most GMO seeds, which rubs people the wrong way. Check this out. Golden rice. It's yellow because it's loaded with vitamin A to help kids in poor countries. Genius or too far? You tell me. So are GMOs the future of food or a step too far? Drop your take in the comments and if this blew your mind, hit like and subscribe.